<laughs> oh my lord well a little quicker than i thought we would be we actually hit three points what's up guys welcome back to the back road driver channel today's gonna be awesome today the gray beast turns into something else we're gonna re-gear the front and rear diff and we're putting in a limited slip diff we're headed over to lebanon tennessee just just outside of nashville to have this done and we're gonna take you along there's sam miser see if we can get his attention Got a few parts out here had a little conversation with him Ooh, there goes a fox body sounds like some cams sorry i got distracted anyway he's got cobras all over the place and corvettes and all kinds of crazy stuff over here works on a ton of ford stuff um i want sam to tell us a little bit about this ford performance rear end and crack it open we'll crack the diff cover up but i'll talk through while he's doing that we actually have a little exhaust uh, cling going on and Heath has kind of helped us diagnose that figure out the parts and he's going to take care of that for us as well while the truck's over here so that we can keep a bigger pipe going all the way through and, and get rid of that little rattle that we've got so um, he's a true expert and we appreciate what he's doing for us this is a uh, Ford Performance uh, limited slip rear diff been modified by Rob's Performance and uh, We'll put a link in the description to uh, to his information. He what he does is uh, he takes the stock one for the Mustang and does a little machining to where it fits in an F-150 uh, Super 88 rear end suite. You don't have to mess with any shims or anything. Um, so we'll put a link in the description for this part. This over here. I want to say something about that while he's busting this open. That um, is the same lsd that is in boosted f-150 rear end yeah. i don't know what he may have done some additional mods because i know his truck's um, getting a lot of upgrades and changes right now but that's we appreciate him giving the, us the yep. information on that to go to rob's um so we know it's going to hold up because he's pushing a whole lot more horsepower than we are and he races hard uh this is just a little cosmetic goodie that sam's getting to right now the the stock diff cover it's decent it's not like Super good looking. That gum, that triple boxed it. You get a B and M diff cover. It's gonna be boxed well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there's no way it's that big. Anyway, we've talked a lot with Heath today about the differences in the. I mean, you got a 5.0 and a Mustang. You got a 5.0 in the truck. Kind of recap briefly what you said in there about how they're so much different when you go to tune those things. Yeah, just the, you know, the tuning profiles or the, the engineering in the two, Mustang and truck, totally different. So the guys that do a lot of Mustang stuff switch over to this truck stuff. It's different. Big, you know, learning curve, big learning curve there between the two. So we're unboxed here. Um, I think, Sam, was it also, we got a plug down here so that you're able to drain if you need to change yeah, out. Yeah, drain fluid and put some new in a little easier if you don't have to crack the diff Still cover open. off anymore is this okay is this just gonna look good or does it actually dissipate heat any better is it oh sure yeah yeah just uh the fans in there get a little rid of some heat 
Uh, and these look like these have the load caps where you can actually load the, the bearing caps on the inside just to strengthen everything and make it, you know, in part of the whole system as far as structurally stronger. Gotcha. So, but the drain and the fuel stuff does help instead of having to take it all off every time. The time to do this, guys, is when you're getting in here anyway. If you're gonna if you're gonna fool with all this, he's got to take the rear diff off. He's gonna put the rear diff back on. This is the time to do it if you're doing any rear end work. Spend a couple hundred bucks. This one wasn't cheap. It definitely wasn't the cheapest. It was the one I could get timely that looked cool that had the features. So you're talking about a couple hundred bucks, but you can get in the hundred dollar range if you're willing to wait and be patient, especially if you're doing it yourself. Um, we're gonna let him get to work, um, and we'll be. I'll probably snap right here, and then when I snap again, we'll be back over here picking the truck up. So ready, one, two. Actually. We got some more parts that came in. So we drove back home last night and I brought my beautiful bride. Whoa, what surprised her. Brought my beautiful bride, which actually she drove me over here. And we brought some parts back because he, and that is a gigantic peacock across the street. You can't see it, but. I've got a few clips here that will bolt this stuff on, but it's exhaust stuff. My brother Sam's pretty awesome. He even printed a picture out of how this looked on his car. Um, in here, we've got a large, resonator or a, a large straight pipe that actually bolts up to the y-pop connection pull it out so this is like a fitting that's proprietary to that h-pipe so it's hard to kind of get that fitting but right now i've got a i go from headers to a y-pipe down into something factory that's more restrictive this will give me a straight through design that's a lot bigger but we're also going to cut that and put in these little vibrant performance resonators they say ultra quiet on them but you got to understand like we've got a super aggressive muffler we've got headers um the, when we do have the factory resonator on it's all rusted up i mean the truck doesn't have many miles on it but you know how how stuff does but this is a vibrant resonator and this looks sweet and it's the right size to come from that so we'll be larger all the way through and this pitch note is really really good we got two of these because that pipe is long enough to allow us to put two of these on so we'll put one on here and we'll have room to put another one cut in and put another one on if we want to um, later but that's what we're dropping off today i'm gonna see you again hopefully at pickup for you in about four seconds for me in probably three or four days peace out In the buck bald video, the camera that we had set up on the, the, the buck bald drive video, we'll put a link to it. We revved it to do a burnout just when I was taking off. When we got back, the camera was on the ground, it was smashed. When we watched the footage back, the camera stayed on for a little bit and the exhaust actually pushed it over and then somebody didn't see it laying on the ground and they ran over it. This right here with this new, just vibrant instead of the factory resonator and it's got this y pipe on it so it's like less restrictive and we're not sitting on the cross member with our exhaust anymore which was causing knock this right here is crazy like this sounds i would have to say like a hellcat a hellcat ain't got nothing on this would you agree yeah that's wicked that's wicked wicked is a good way to say it that was sick that, that was worth the ooh, that was worth the drive over all right so we're back with heath we're picking up we've started the truck up it's pretty nasty but talk a little bit about what we've put on as compared like this is all the old stuff and some stuff we didn't use but kind of talk through didn't we do something on the spider gears yeah we basically went from an open diff um you know to a traction lock you know type diff which is a huge improvement for getting power to both rear wheels so along with your 
your burnouts and your donuts and stuff like that on an open diff, it's pretty costly. You can see like chunks out of that, but you can see like this thing looks like somebody's melted it. It's melted just metal. smeared. Yeah, really tough on things oh, to, wow. to uh, change directions and have a lot of wheel speed on an open diff. It's just a poor combination. Did the big tires with a lot of chunk in them. That too. It's kinda. just the load and you know what surface you were on and you know all that kind of stuff. So uh, that'll be a huge improvement. Um, also change gearing, super big as far as moving the truck, you know, multiplying torque. So that's gonna be a big, big thing. What? Uh, so I don't think they can, know. Yeah, Go ahead and tell say, us the number. As far as the, the, the ratio, the ratio. 488s. Have, so. have you ever seen a 488 truck gear that's not meant, to, that's not a climbing truck? Not really. The What I usually see is big tires. So whether it's a street truck or an off-road or whatever, big tires, you know, kills your gear ratio. So you want to change that with rear end gearing, front end gearing. So, you know, what it does is multiplies torque. So if you're not going huge tires, you're still gaining torque, which is going to help with everything. Yeah. It, it drives as good as it sounds. <laughs> Let's talk about, um, so this is like, there's the old gearing what about let's talk about so we had a little knock going on and this is something he figured out so we had a little issue where we thought it was in the tune but it would actually drop off and i don't know at about 80 to 90 miles an hour on a pull it would basically just kind of cut out a little bit like it was using fuel or losing fuel and he when we told him about this exhaust rattle that we were having where the exhaust was sitting on a cross member he's like probably cause a knock so we have and we've got we bought two just in case we want to put two on so he's going to open one up this thing's beautiful by the way this is like a new iphone it looks so pretty here's the old factory ford resonator that got left on with my headers wipe up and cat back i mean it's nasty it was restrictive because it wasn't as big as the rest of the pipe that i had but it's like a big ugly i mean we're talking about a new not brand new but a five or six thousand mile truck this joker's already rested out and this is what we put on and it's it's a work of art it's a vibrant resonator yep, it's pretty it's very pretty it's very solid um and once you, you you know the sound clip speaks for itself it's freaking nasty it's a little bit louder than it was which i'm okay with but it's cleaner it doesn't have like a metal ping because we're not bouncing off of a cross member with our exhaust now it's just a totally different ball game uh tune tune's a little rough what do you where do you see us needing to go with all that? Well, with the gear change, we're going to need some correction for the transmission strategy. So that's going to, because now it shifts, you know, way off because it still thinks it's on the other gearing. So that will help a ton as far as making it drive nice, uh, part throttle and wide open throttle. We're going to get our first um, tune update here in the next few days, hopefully, maybe by the end of this week. So it won't be in this video. We are going to go out and drive now. And with obviously knowing our tunes out of whack a little bit, we're gonna see what we can do. This is never a good reason to turn the camera on, but we went and drove just a little bit. Um, and as I got on some of these straights headed out from Delk back towards I-40, some long nice straights, about 55 miles an hour, I start hearing a chirp. I'm hungry, so we go eat. It all sounds good. And, um, I sent Heath an email about the chirpers like hey I don't know anything about gears these are 488s you know is it supposed to make some noise and he's like no nah, man you shouldn't hear the gears if you're hearing gearing or chirping I just let off of the um, gas and I'm 50 miles an hour and I'm hearing just a chirp I don't know if you can hear it I'll speed up and then let off I don't know if you can hear it or not through the camera, but it's a chirp. So we're gonna take it back over and let Heath drive, check it out, and uh, we'll see what might have happened. <laughs> we didn't get the news we had hoped for. He has to keep the truck, crack it back open. Could be, I mean, who knows what it could be. I don't even wanna speculate. So they're gonna check that out. He's gonna help us work on the tune just a little bit um, so that we can get this thing running smooth. We gotta change shift points anyway. Um, and then we'll do some other little cleanup stuff on the tune that we've been needing to do. The next time you see us, hopefully, we'll be driving the truck. All right, so we're back at Delk. I'm here with Brent. This is this is 
Heath's older, better looking, more talented brother. Brent's uh, doing all the everything this week while uh, Heath is on vacation. And he told me to say that, Heath. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a look. Very. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a look at these gears, the first set that went in that started making the terrible chirping noise. And then I'm going to show you the truck. And then I'm going to show you what it'll do now. So we got these back in. We got the chirp. What was making the chirp? These are Yukon 488s. Well, I mean, best we can tell, we're starting to see some, uh, some smearing of this gear. Not a very technical term, but that's really the best way to describe it. Um, it basically looks like the, the force uh, of the two gears coming together <clears throat> is causing some movement in that metal. And that's bad because that opens up all your tolerances. Um, that's basically the issue. That the more uh, room you have there, uh, the more noise you get. And then heat develops and then you have a, a complete failure at some point. So Yukon says, break them in a certain way. We broke this set in that way. They go make the chirp. We get another set. These will go back to Yukon and they'll put them on a what type of test? Uh, they just said they were gonna do a rock weld test, which is basically a, a hardness test uh, to see if there was some sort of problem uh, with the hardness, the hardening of the metal. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, a fact that uh, the pinion gear is harder than the ring gear because it's smaller. So uh, you would expect to see two different uh, scores on that test for those two pieces of metal. Um, and you know, it's, it's our understanding if they see something that's not correct, um, that they'll warranty the gear. And that's what we would hope to see happen here because everything else was perfect. Set up looked great. Uh, backlash was all perfect. Um, you know, no issues installation wise. And we're good to go. Let's check the truck out. All right. So we've got it up on the lift here so we can take a better look at what we've got. That new B&M cover back here is looking suave. Uh, we've tightened the traction bars up while we've had it up here. Um, limited slip diff is in the, in the differential. Uh, what do you expect? Like, give me an overall on, we've made this update. You've driven the truck and then talk a little bit about the tune. Um, well, I mean, obviously with a with an open rear end, you, you get the one wheel peel, so to speak, which is terrible. Uh, I'm not sure why they even put it in trucks, but they do. Um, you know, the, the limited slip uh, will help get both wheels locked up, uh, still be real nice to drive. Um, as far as the tune goes, um, you know, the tune is coming. It, it's it's getting better and better. Um, it's it's you know very tolerable right now and. and of course, wide open throttle is very good. Uh, it's the drivability that's the hard part. Uh, you get that part worked out and uh, you're on your way. But um, otherwise, it's coming together and uh, hopefully hopefully be 100% uh, soon. So resonator, talk resonator to me. Let's walk through there. Uh, uh, yeah, so basically um, the, the, the exhaust was a little bit on the noisy side. Um, and, and not the good kind of noise. So uh, took and added a couple of resonators in, sort of uh, knocked some of the noise out of it, the, the racket, so to speak. Um, you know, it's got a, a real good mellow tone now. It's still got some volume, but it, it knocked a lot of the, the noise out of it. Um, so uh, with a little bit more testing and maybe a little bit more tuning on that, uh, should have a, a good outcome there. Well, I'll point something out here. This cross member connects the frame and this pipe here, part of what we replaced, you saw the long tube in the other video, it's chopped up into pieces now, but it was actually a proprietary thing to be able to bolt into this Y pipe. Bolt that in. Now we've got clearance. I don't know if you can tell. We have clearance between the new pipe and the cross member that was actually bouncing and then i think you guys added this hanger yeah added an extra support right there so they've added this hanger and that will keep us from it'll never hit there because that knock was causing us some engine problems like uh throwing throwing the computer out of whack yeah it was actually probably picking up some false knock um you know the computer through the knock sensors was probably uh understanding that there was some engine knock and pulling some spark timing um, so uh, when you eliminate all that type of extra noise uh, hopefully the engine can can do what it's supposed to do so 
So we've got both of these vibrant resonators in now. The tone is much, much better. I'm gonna crank that up for you guys and show you what she'll do. Thank you, brother. Here's a quick start with the second resonator installed. It's not a cold start, but you'll get an idea. Much more sinister. Let's go see what it'll do zero to 60. A little burnout to warm up the tires and show you this new limited slip diff. And this is definitely two wheel pill. unbelievable like that feels so much different with the limited slip than it did with the open diff that was just ripping like everything was controlled um, I think we're gonna have some fun with this we're gonna launch in four all and see what we can get see if we can improve on pre 488s traction's probably gonna be a little bit of an issue and my drag altitude or my altitude my DA is 3568 so it's really high hot and muggy out here all right here we go quicker than I thought we would be we actually hit 3.740 to 60 if you subtract one foot for a one foot roll out <laughs> 352 that's some pretty good company for 0 to 60 I just launched in four all I'm still gonna give these 488s these new gear since we I don't know they didn't make it the last time um, with just a couple pulls we're gonna see what happens here um, get those broken in a little bit more before we launch in four high but we just hit a if you subtract one foot roll out three five two zero to sixty stay tuned we got some really big things coming up bigger than i've said that before this is even bigger than that so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe or i won't be your friend anymore peace out